Hey guys, so how are we? We're doing really well. What I'm going to show you today is how to make some homemade chimichurri. If you guys don't know what that is, it's uh, something that uh, I think it's originally from Argentina. And um, this is the way I make it. Uh, it tastes really good. It works fantastic on top of red meat. Uh, although Amy likes to eat it with pork and we've had it with chicken. Uh, but I think red meat is the best. So what you want to do is you want to start off with some ingredients first. Something to kick it off, a little bit of wine. Uh, you want to have some fresh cilantro, salt, pepper, um, some basil, uh, some romero, and oregano. Some people will tell you, Jose, you should be using fresh. I don't disagree, but I really wanted to get this done today, and this is what I had in hand. So fresh is always going to be better. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take off the stems from the cilantro here. Okay, just take those off and then you're going to just start to reduce the cilantro by chopping it in little pieces. Okay, move it to the side and then you're going to just start breaking it down until it's finely minced. Um, the reason for this uh, is some folks use uh, parsley. I prefer cilantro myself, just, um, I just like the flavor a little bit better. Uh, but both, I've had it both ways and it actually tastes pretty good. All right, so I'm going to take a break here for a second while I uh, get the rest of this thing done because uh, this is going to take a while. Uh, and uh, we'll be right back in a few seconds, okay? Thanks. Okay, so as you see, it's almost down to where it's finely minced. It took a little while. Um, just be very, very careful, especially if you're using a sharp knife. You want to make sure that you start chopping away from your fingers. And I usually keep the, the fingers on top of the knife to make sure that I don't chop them off. Uh, trust me when I say I have. <laughs> okay, quite a few times actually. So uh, we're just going to keep breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down until it's very, very minced. Okay, and then once that is done, we're going to put it into a bowl. I'm going to start adding some of the other ingredients. Again, remember what I said. Um, this is an Argentinian uh, dish, I believe, an uh, Argentinian condiment, I believe. Uh, and my Argentinian friends will let me know if I was incorrect about that. So my Chilean and Uruguayan friends, actually. Así que ya saben. Me dejan saber. Um, and uh, once this is all done, we're going to put it in here. Okay. So as you can see, finally, chopped on. And this is actually quite delicious. Especially, like I said, when you put it on uh, flank steak, when you put it on... Sirloin, it's just out of this world good. It truly is. Okay, so that's there. I'm gonna take this. Of course, I washed my hands. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it inside the bowl. Put this away. We're going to take some garlic. Just bring a new one. I like garlic a lot, so I'm going to use quite a bit of garlic, okay? Garlic is something that's very much a uh, personal preference, so make sure that you use it based on your preference. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And a little bit of white vinegar. Again, start playing around with this until you get it to where it tastes the way you like it. Um, I more or less know, and those that have seen my other videos know that uh, I don't measure anything, so there we go. Now, I take a little bit of oregano, again, um, fresh would have been better, I do agree, a little bit of basil, and some romero, and with the romero what I like to do is um, I just like to take it very little and crunch it, crunch it up, put it in there because if not it's got that long stringy thing going on. So I'm going to mix this up again, see it's going to get a consistency almost like if it was a little paste, so I'm going to put just a little bit more olive oil and a little bit more vinegar. 
Okay. And now we're going to put some pepper. Fresh ground pepper. And just a little bit of salt. Mix it around once again, just to make sure that everything gets uh, all nice and mixed up. And as you're going to see, that's the kind of consistency that you're going to get. Um, let's give it a taste. Use a little salt. And then let me give my camera girl taste. Mm. <laughs> Good? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, and I think that's it. That's chimichurri, homemade style, at least Jose mm. style. Um, put this on top of red meat, and trust me, you won't go wrong. Play around with the ingredients. Make sure that you get it to your taste. Some people like a little bit less garlic. Some people like a little bit more vinegar to make it more tangy. This is the way I like it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hit, hook me up on, uh, hit me up on my Facebook page, on my Facebook page, on my, uh, on my YouTube uh, page, and, uh, and let me know what you thought, you know? And uh, if you've got anything else that you'd like to see, uh, let me know, and we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching, and I hope you really enjoy. Thanks.